Welcome back to the Denny Cycle YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over installing the piston rings onto a cylinder. And this cylinder here is the A35 aerosol. And you'll see the cylinder, piston, rings. Now this is called the wrist pin. And in this little bag you see the wrist pin clips and these two studs. Sometimes they come with these studs, sometimes they won't. But first we're going to start out by putting the piston rings on the piston. And it's pretty simple to do. You just Stretch it out and slide them on there. And these are pretty fragile, so you want to be careful in this whole process. They will break easily, so you don't want to force them or anything like that. And then you'll notice in here, you see a little tiny pin inside the piston ring groove on the piston. The piston ring is going to compress to that pin, so you need to be very mindful. There's two little grooves in the piston ring itself. It's having a hard time focusing, but they're going to compress onto that pin and they need to be compressed onto that pin to get them in the cylinder and you see the arrow here it's going to want to face down to the exhaust and that little cutout at the top will face up toward the intake so now we're just going to kind of put this second piston ring on and they all go in there pretty easily now we're just going to locate both those pins so we can get it ready to install into the cylinder and what I like to do is install these pistons halfway before we put them on the actual bike because it makes it a lot easier to line it up and get the piston rings into the cylinder if you don't have to deal with having it, the cylinder studs and everything in the way. You're just going to compress it with your hands and push the first piston ring in. And again, no pressure, no force at all. These are fragile and will break. And I'm just going to cut away here because I wanted to show you guys again how to get it lined up. You want that arrow to face down to the exhaust and that cutout will face up to the intake. And now we're just going to focus on getting that second ring in. And again, very gentle. We don't want to force anything. If it's not going in, take it back out, try again. Also, it could help to use a little bit of oil here. But again, you don't want to force it because any forcing can break the piston rings. They are fragile. And then you just want to push it in that far so you still have the wrist pin hole exposed. And now it's ready to slide right onto the cylinder. And then you can put the wrist pin right in that hole on the side. Put the wrist pin clips on and you're ready to go. And again, you want to be very, very careful with these piston rings. They're fragile. And you want to pay very close attention to the piston ring pin groove in the piston itself because that's what the piston rings have to compress to. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know.